All right, play record. Really simple to use. You just get going and you hit record. And depending on your speed, you speed up, it'll record the speed. And anything you do. Whip around the corner. So, of course, this could be the entire field or whatever. And then, when you're done recording, just turn it off. And then, all you do is you hit go. Right here's the actuators. I'm actually in the tractor here. All the actuators are going. Of course, the engine's not running. It goes to the start. Exactly four and a half mile an hour, and then whatever speed you were doing, that's what speed it does, and whatever actions you do, it replicates them. See now it turns it on and it should turn it off there. So it dubins to the start wherever you are, and then does the thing. You can pause it, you continue. You can abort completely, at which point it'll just stop. And then it'll just finish and then go back to where we started. So then if we hit go and stop, go, stop, go, pause. Actors are going, what the hell? So it works really well. Of course you need all the machine control module to actually make the vehicle move, which I haven't really drawn any schematics or anything, but to come. But anyway, works really slick. So yeah, you could, if this was a patch of grass to mow, you could just drive the thing once, record it all, and then hit go, and it will replicate what you just drove. And go to the start, finish it, then come back and park in front of the garage. So, kind of cool. Oh, and one more thing. Here is the output from the Ethernet module that is my machine control that controls the clutch throttle or whatever. And I've adopted the PGN style where you have a 16 bit address for your command code and then eight different slots for control data. And that works uh, works pretty good. That way, if it ever does, we ever do want to do CAN bus or whatever, then it's quite compatible with CAN bus and looks all the same. So this way is basically CAN bus type style with uh, doing it over Ethernet. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, you can you can reprogram the the uh, Nano even while the thing is running, and it just pauses, and then you program it. And then once it boots again, it just gets going again. There's nothing to start or stop or anything. So that part's pretty slick. So I'll have to do the auto sear module and get that working and the Ag Open GPS to recognize the information coming back, like the actual steer angle and heading and roll and all that. I have to do the parsing of the UDP over Ethernet to uh, to get the information back in Ag Open GPS. But that's it. So. Hope to get that done sometime, sometime. Anyway, thanks.